there. Welcome to Delicious Dishes by Diana. And today I'm going to make my niece's favorite cookie, chocolate chip cookies. Hi, Lana. Let's get started. The first thing my recipe calls for is two sticks of melted butter that are browned. I like to brown my butter. So we're going to heat this up until it starts to brown. It takes several minutes for the butter to melt. Okay, I turned off the heat. See the see the difference in the color? I know there's foam in the way, but the butter is definitely brown. You can see that it's a different color. You can actually smell the difference. While I'm waiting for the butter to brown, I have lined my cookie sheet pans with parchment paper. There's two of them. My sister Carrie and I were talking last night about whether to melt butter or not to melt butter, and she told me to watch Elt, Alton Brown. Of course, he's an expert in everything cooking and baking. <laughs> but I like to melt the butter, and I like to brown it. And um, it's an old family recipe, as my sister Carrie said last night. She was referring to an old friend's episode, and she says, it's an old recipe by my great aunt. Okay, now I'm going to add my browned butter in the mixing bowl. I'm going to use my big stand mixer. So to this, I'm going to add brown sugar. That would be three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. I did not have a three quarter of a cup measure, so I used a quarter cup plus a half a cup. going to start the process. Now I'm going to scrape down the sides. I'm going to switch this to low. I'm going to add in my two eggs, which I cracked ahead of time in their room temperature. There we go. Mix those in. See how the consistency changed a little bit when I added the eggs? I'm gonna add in a teaspoon and a half of vanilla and I make my homemade vanilla, my own homemade vanilla. Oh, I wish you could smell it. Oh, that's so good. This is my baking soda and this is my salt and I just added them to the flour before I put it in here. I'm going to give it a quick stir. And that was a teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon. Actually, it was about a quarter teaspoon of salt because the butter that I used was salted butter. If you're using unsalted butter, you can go ahead and put the whole half a teaspoon of salt in it. Okay, I'm going to add a teaspoon. I've got this big spoon here. I'm going to add a spoon at a time to it. Let that mix in a little bit. And then a little more. A little more. I'm careful when I put this in here not to get my spoon mixed up in the beater. So I add it to the side. See, so it won't touch it. Okay, I'm going to check it, make sure that it doesn't need the side scrape, which it does just a little bit. Scrape the sides down, make sure there's nothing on the bottom had been mixed. And it looks like everything's been mixed in. Yum! I'm going to add just a little bit more flour because it's a little too loose. Just depends on the temperature and the measuring. Okay, I'm gonna remove the beer. I'm gonna use my fingers because there's nothing that works better than your fingers to clean off the beer bar and a pair of fingers. Fingers that God gave you. All right. I'm going to add in my cup and a half of chocolate chips. And I've got milk chocolate here, but you can use semi-sweet 
milk chocolate, white morsels, butterscotch, whatever, white, whatever flavor you like. Cinnamon? Ooh, they have cinnamon chips from the holidays. That would be delicious. I'm going to use my Dutch whisk and I'm just press these in and give it a good mix. Use a lot of muscle. Need to eat some spinach. All right, those are all mixed in. I'm going to put a cover on this and I'm going to refrigerate it for an hour. Okay, it's been in the refrigerator for about an hour. And now I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 and scoop these out. And I'm going to use a number 40 cookie disher. Now I'm put a generous helping on mine. Now I take my cookies. I know this sounds weird, but I break them in half. And then we get all these little mountains and valleys. Don't mash them down. Leave them like that. These are all going to be about the same size. You can use a bigger cookie scoop if you want. Or giant cookies. But I just use this. I like all those mountains and valleys. Alright. You can't see me dipping them. But I have. Here we go. I'm going to show you how to dip it. There we go. Now those are going to bake in the oven about 14-15 minutes in my oven. My, everybody's oven is different. Mine takes about 14-15 minutes. You don't want them to be overly done. You want them to be a little bit blonde in the middle and on the tops. Now the hills and valleys, these top parts are going to have little brown pieces on them brown caramelized areas and then the center of it's going to be a little bit soft that's what you want and you want it to be nice and golden on the bottom not burnt we don't want burned bottom cookies scorched if you are getting scorched cookies you need to move your oven rack up and do one rack at a time Turn your heat down just a little bit and use a lighter cookie sheet. Don't use a dark non-stick cookie sheet because that adds heat to the pan and will cause your cookies to actually scorch on the bottom. Now while I'm waiting, I'm going to get out my cooling cookie racks. I'm going to show you how I switch my cookies around. Put those up. Put those down. This is what you want these cookies to look like. They're golden. They're still a little soft in the middle. Got peaks and valleys. Have nice golden areas and they're golden brown on the bottom let me show you hot golden not burned beautiful cookie i'm going to remove these to my cookie rack i don't want these to set here or sit here because 
I don't want them to sweat. So I'm going to carefully remove them from my cookie sheet pan onto my cooling rack. And I might just have to eat a hot cookie. Now I have to decide which one I want to eat. <laughs> I think I'm going to eat this one. Because I saw it kind of crack a little bit when I picked it up. See? Oh. Look at that cookie. Mm-mm-mm. What a beautiful cookie. Okay, here's this yummy cookie. Look. Mmm. Looky here, Lana. Looky here, Kara. This is my other niece, Kara, and she loves chocolate chip cookies too. Aunt Nana made chocolate chip cookies. Mmm. 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 Kara and Lana, if you were here, we would eat cookies and have a tea party. Mmm, -hmm. mm, those were good. That brown butter. Mmm, that brown butter has such a delicious flavor. Mmm, it's so good. Thank you for joining me today on Diana's Delicious Dishes. I hope that you have a great day. I want you to shine for Jesus in all you do. Be blessed and join me next time.